Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Te Ati Awa First Nations people and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. For those that are new, I am Australian. Yes, that is an Aussie accent you hear there. Uh, but I'm over in New Zealand at the moment. My mum's going through chemotherapy treatment. She's in at the hospital at the moment getting a, a had blood test this morning, needs a couple of bags of haemoglobin uh, while everything <laughs> while everything kicks in. But aside from that, she's doing Doing really well. Um, uh, platelets are, are starting to come back. They're usually the first that come back after a round of chemo, and then we've got um, the 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 cancer cells. So she's got leukemia. The cancer cells in the blood marrow have been annihilated pretty much, um, and uh, it, we're just sort of at the moment. Marking time until things start to uh, kick start and cough back into life again. So she's doing fabulously well. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support and your and your prayers and your love and your help and assistance and for everybody that gives blood that allows uh, allows all these people that are sitting in the cancer day centre. Uh, to receive what they need to uh, to assist in their recovery. Okay, what I want to have a look at is is Elon. A bit of a bit of a gossipy one here. Sorry about the light. It's a bit. Um, see if I can get that a bit better. There you go. A bit better. Um, it's not in my usual environment. I'm in New Zealand from Australia, sitting in the down on the floor uh, of a coffee table in an Airbnb, using a tea towel as a as a tablecloth. So, yay, because it's a glass table. Okay, what I want to have a look. Bit of gossipy. Musk is he the new Mike Lindell? Now you will remember Mike Lindell, the pillow guy, the guy who had an incredibly successful business and. Until he decided to hitch his wagon to a certain wannabe politician, criminal, mafia, thug, entertainment only, um, and lost the lot. Absolutely. When I say lost the lot, I mean he lost everything. That he lost the business. He had to fire sale all his the equipment that was in the business. Uh, he lost everything. So using my trip and weight tarot because I use it for uh, Trump and his ilk because it is a bit of a oh goodness me could they be even more goosey cards? Um, is Musk going to be the next um, Mike Lindell? Well, you tell me. <laughs> the money, he's coming forward with the money, uh, but I don't know that it's going to end well for him. Loss, heartbreak, despair, grief, betrayal, treason, you name it. Or is it simply Trump's vascular event and it's the ending of everything? Because boy, oh boy, I've been getting this vascular event for two years now. Okay, but I'm not looking at Trump's health. I'm looking at Musk. I I don't, I, I, I'm going to say, I think, yes, the strength of Elon Musk is going to find itself in a really bad way. Okay, the truth of it is, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, Musk's problem is he thinks that he is the genius. He thinks he's the most intelligent one in the room. He's very well, you know, if we all had a parent with an emerald mind in apartheid Africa, we would probably do quite well. But I think the partnership is going to end up in a tower moment from Elon Musk. Um, but yeah, if we all had a parent with a with an emerald mind in apartheid South Africa, uh, we could probably do quite well for ourselves. Uh, he's very, very slick at taking other people's ideas. Uh, and then using them. Yeah, he's very, very slick at smoke and mirrors. Um, oh, but he's going to find himself butt naked exposed in regards to this. Okay, so show me. Show me a little bit, a little bit further. Show me. I'm just going to ask straight out, is Elon Musk, endings and beginnings, pop it back in. Uh, is Elon Musk going to find himself as the new, the truth of it, 
is he's going to end up bruised and battered with his back up against the wall and the two that are on the bottom, three that are on the bottom. Can those be in any bigger yes? <laughs> I think we're, yeah, desperately trying to hang on to his money. We've got here some court cases, some prosecutions. His money trails are followed and it's literally going to be dripping out of his fingers. He's going to find he's going to face a judgment and loss. I really do feel that once Harris gets into government, Musk is going to seriously lose some government contracts. He's going to be investigated for treason and uh, just oh, far out. He's going to make Mike Lindell look like a, um, what did I say yesterday, the hors d'oeuvres when we've got the, yeah, the, once the election takes place. He's going to find himself short of the short of a quid. Um, Lindell's going to find himself. He was just the 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 hors d'oeuvre before Musk will be the main course. It's going to be. I'm just getting. It's going to be wild. Okay, show me. Show me is Elon Musk. Is Elon Musk going to find himself the next? Mike Lindell. Right, I've got something that's popped out here sitting on my lap. Can't see what it is. What is it? Right. Where he is now, watching the ships. Are they coming in or are they going out? Standing on the, standing up on the prom, prominence, watching the ships. To, I'm going to say departing the bay. Okay, let's see where this goes. His challenge is he's not going to get the money that he thinks he's entitled to. He's turned, I mean, there's an old saying, how do you make a small fortune out of a vineyard? Start with a big fortune. I really get he, the challenge is he's going to be converting his big money into little money in the face of karmic justice. The fool, he's just, the foolishness of it all. The, the past is the celebration, but it's in the past. And talk about, you know, I was saying, how do you, with a vineyard, how do you make a small fortune? You start with a big fortune, with the grapes and the spilt wine there. So this is him in his circle. But it's in the past, crowning this reading, desperately trying to hold on to money. I just, I don't think it's coming in. I know he's touted as some sort of uber billionaire or something. He's got an, he's got an insecurity complex over money. All these, gosh, all these dudes with daddy problems, because um, I gather his father was a bit of an a hole towards him. Uh, his mother's tarred with the same brush as he is I think he was his mother's golden boy where he was very possibly despised by his father um he's got he's got money insecurities let me put it that way literally dripping through his fingers in the near future we've got money trails here externally it's also the apprentice I'm just going to say money trails. We've got Trump internally, hopes and fears. Again, a three. So three here, three here. Secret dealings going on behind the scenes. This is the abuse of power, the win at any cost, the treason, the betrayal, the anxiety, and finding himself financially out in the cold. We've got here a Queen of Wands. This is usually my Judge Putkin card, but we'll see where it goes. And Jack Smith. Ooh, ooh. Could be Alex Whiting as well. 
his global plan. Smoke and mirrors, greed, addiction. We know he's, uh, well, allegedly, allegedly addiction, addicted to certain drugs. But greed, fully exposed to the government, to the courts, to the authorities, perhaps IRS, somewhere on the FBI. It's going to reap what he has sown and the wheel of fortune is going to turn on him. He's out there going rah, 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 rah. But people are just walking away from his products. We've got this infighting. I have read that he's going to be kicked off um, the board of the of Tesla. Infighting, hidden agendas being revealed, walking away, and then the best of democracy that will move forward and restrict him as the harsh truth about his connections with Russia and oligarchs, oligarchs come out. Ace of Wands, big stick, ending, trampled underfoot. Goodness me. Goodness, goodness me. So, show me, is Trump going to take Musk down? Oh, lunacy out in the cold without any money, chucked out, chucked out of the. the lucrative Department of Defense contracts because secrets about his secret dealings are going to be brought forward. Oh, goodness, you and I can see that. Why can't the government? Um, show me, show me Trump's relationship with Musk. Show me just quickly four cards, Trump's relationship with Musk. Trump's relationship with Musk. How's that going to end? How is that going to go? Did a re really interesting reading on Starlink the other day. If you wanted to go back and have a look at that. But I think that Musk is doing it to be beneficial to you. Um, okay, the manipulation. I'm going to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Trump's relationship with Musk. Yeah, I, I don't think it's... The manifestation, the using. We've got here the volatility, in, in fighting perhaps, justice. And here's my Tupkin card. Trump himself, FBI, DOJ, bringing about an ending. And then we've got another ending, karma coming and biting him on the bum. Seeing what's on the bottom there. Um, I Throwing under the bus, thank you. Trump's relationship with Musk. There's no money cards here, but we have the justice and we have the ending and we have the DOJ and, and Trump and Chutkin and manipulation. I think this is just to cause chaos. He's using Musk to cause chaos. Okay, how's this going to end? Oh, there's enough cards there. I can do this. How's this going to end with for Musk? What's Musk's? What what is Musk getting out of the relationship with Trump? What is Musk getting out of the relationship with Trump? What is Musk getting out of the relationship with Trump? Well, we do have the relationship here, but I tell you what, the DOJ. We're looking at it very closely. What does my, and there's a sort of truth coming. What does Musk? What does Musk think he's getting out of the relationship with Trump? What does Musk think he's getting out of the relationship with Trump? Right, something not yet revealed. 
an emotion, keeping an emotional lid on it. I think there's some sort of promise here that Musk wants to keep a close eye on. Contrast, powerful contracts and agreements. Again, my DOJ card. And then we have the best of democracy here. I think this is um, the DOJ keeping a really close eye on this relationship. Yeah, we've got the devil and big stick moment. So I don't know what, what Musk thinks he's going to get. Things are going to come forward really quickly. And it's going to be emotionally overwhelming. And we've got the Queen of Swords, my Harris card. It's to do with grifting, the chariot. Moving forward, grinding forward slowly, but there's this harsh truth where Musk is going to have to defend himself and karma's going to come and bite him on the bum and he's going to be finished. And on the bottom, we've got these contracts and agreements again. Okay, what's in it for Musk? Contract and agreement to be able to bring forward his own plan and his strengths. And I'm going to say it's some sort of, I mean, he has said that he wants to populate the world himself. But this is my Judge Chuck King card, where he's going to find himself and Trump out in the cold because of the abuse of power and the betrayal and the treason. It's going to be fully illuminated and the money is going to dry up. I can't put it any clearer than that. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Um, what a fool. That's all I can say. What a fool. Okay, love to you all. Take care.